I don't know a boxer that doesn't use running as part of their training regime. And on this video, I'm going to give you a fantastic run that you can use. This is the same run as I used to do when I was training for the 2008 Olympic Games. And the benefits that you're going to get from doing this specific run is amazing. So get your pens, get your papers, write this down, you're going to love it. Now, if you look at all the great fighters from the past to the present, the likes of Muhammad Ali, Tyson Fury, Mike Tyson, Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather, they all do running as part of their training. There's a bunch of benefits to running, like your stamina and endurance. Who doesn't want to build their stamina and endurance when you're boxing training? Another great benefit is the weight that you're going to lose because you're burning a ton of calories as well. Then the other side is like the discipline. When we're boxers, we get tired and the last thing we want to do is go out for a run or get up early and do that run. So it's great to build that self-discipline. Running's also great for explosiveness. We all want to be explosive in a fight and this will help with that. Also, running is great for your mentality, especially this one I'm about to give you right here. Really helps getting you mentally strong and keeping Focus. This run is a quick run. It's one of the fastest runs that we did. You're actually only working hard for eight minutes. And this run is called the 4 twos Sustained Running. Now, we used to do this run on a running track. This is my picture of a running track, which is terrible, I know. Now, the standard running track is 400 meters long. Now, you don't need a running track to do this run, but I prefer it because you can really measure your progression and your fitness when you are doing it on a track. And I'll tell you exactly how to measure that in a minute. But right now, I'm gonna tell you about the run. So we're gonna start off with a warm up. Now you need to warm up your full body, not just your legs. You need to get that blood pumping through your body. Now I've done a full video showing you how to warm up the full body. You can watch that video after this. But yeah, warming up is very important, especially on this run, because it's a sustained run. I'll explain that in a second. But yeah, if you go into a run like this, or just about any run cold, there's a good chance you will pull a muscle and you'll get injured, and that's the last thing we want. So now you've done your warm up, now it's time for the run. You're going to do two minutes of running, four times and have a one minute rest in between the rounds. So it's gonna be like four two minute rounds with a one minute rest in between. So you can start anywhere on the track. I like to mark off where you're gonna run. Let's just see you start in the middle here and then you're gonna run for two minutes as fast as you can all the way around the track and then wherever you finish off, see I finish here. Ideally you wanna be getting more than one lap in two minutes. And then you're gonna stand there and then that's where you're gonna take your minute rest. You don't have to stand still. You can walk around, get that blood flowing, shake it out, deep breaths, focusing on recovery. And then what you'll do from here, then you're gonna go again after that one minute rest, another two minutes, and then so on and so on. So you've done four, two minutes with a one minute rest in between. Now with that, I don't mean you wanna start here and you wanna sprint as fast as you can because guess what? By the time you get here, you'll be absolutely exhausted. You've gotta learn about piercing yourself, but not in a way where, you know, you're gonna finish the two minutes and you're just gonna be like, I want you to finish that two minutes exhausted. And after a minute, you will be exhausted, but you've got to push through that. Like I said, this is great for the mentality because your body wants to give in. Your body wants to stop this running because it's hard. But how strong are you? You need to get through that. You need to push through that. And it's great to do this run with someone else to kind of compete with them as well to help push each other along. Now, a few things you need to do when you are doing this run is one is stay relaxed. When you're running, you need to have good form. Just like I always say about boxing on this channel, having good form and technique, the same with running. And that will just get better over time if you're not used to doing this run. Another big thing is learning how to breathe. You've got to breathe correctly on here. Now, another thing what is very important is your recovery time, that one minute, use it correctly, breathe properly, get that oxygen into your lungs. If you bent over the wall, <laughs> you're not recovering. Chest forward, then big, big deep breaths. So control your breathing rather than letting your breathing take control of you. Now, if you don't do any running at all, and this is the first one you're doing, don't go 100%. Go probably between 60 and 80%. Enough where you're really tired at the end of it, but not enough where you, you, know, you can't walk for a week. And the next time you do this, which I recommend doing this once a week, you, know, you can then you know, step it up a little bit, but you wanna get to the point of being able to give it 100% every single time. Now, it's very important at the end of the run, you do your cooling down, you do your stretching, you let your body recover 
properly. Now before I tell you what you can do to measure yourself when you're doing this run, I just want to tell you about a supplement that I recommend you do before you take this run and it's free for you. This is Shroom Tech for Honored mm. and they're giving all my subscribers seven days free trial. Click that link below and get this for free. This is designed to help the body with cellular energy and cardiovascular endurance. And like I said, it's helping the body at a cellular level. I love this. I take it all the time before I train. And you're going to get seven days of this for free. Just click that link below and you can thank me later. Okay, so what can you be doing to measure your performance in this? Well, it's pretty simple. Now let's just say you're starting here on week one. You're going to do your run all the way around. And let's just say after that run, you're finishing here. Now I know that I've just run 600 meters in round one. Now I want you to pull your phone out while you're taking that recovery and write down 600 for round one. And that's kind of where you want to be aiming to get 600 meters. And if you can get to 600 meters, that is fantastic. And then round two, again, you're going to run round. This time you get to around here, then you write down there 500 meters and so on. Now the next time you do this run, you're going to know exactly what you've got to beat and how well you've done it. Now this is how you're going to measure your performance on the run week by week. And my personal goal was to get 600 meters on every single one of them. And before the Olympics, I could do that. But like I mentioned, warming up is super important. Important. That's why I created this video here, giving you the best warm-up possible. Click here and learn all about warming up.